Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. We still continue with our advanced power query series videos. In this video, we are going to look at one of the use cases that table.buffer can help you to speed up your data load process. Actually, we have a very simple example. We are going to try this example using the table.buffer and we are going to try it also without table.buffer in order to see what is the difference in performance in both cases. Let's go there to Excel and look at the example of today. We have a very simple data set, only two columns. One is for date and the second one for the amount for each and every date. And then we have only 10 records or 10 rows. I need to calculate the running total for this table. So I need to add here something like a new column and this column will contain nothing but the running total. I already have a video detailed more than one way to calculate the running total. I'm going to leave the link on top of the screen right now. I need to do this using the power query. So I'm going to select any cell inside this table, right click and get data from table range. This will trigger the power query editor. I have only two steps, source, no problem, and then change type. I'm happy with both. However, I need to change date and time to be only date and then replace current and all is good. Now I'm going to use a very simple technique. I'm going to add an index column and then I'm going to use the list.firstn in order to calculate the rank total. In order to do so, I'm going to the add column and then index column and then start from one. So I will have an index column starting from one up to 10. Then I'm going to add a custom column in order to calculate the running total. So I'm going to hit the custom column. Let me give it a name like running total. Inside the formula section, I'm going to reference the previous step, which is nothing but the added index. I'm going to type hash and then open the double quotes. And then I'm going to type added index and then click on OK. This will reference the entire table. You can see here I have the entire table. I am interested only in the amount column. Here you can see the amount column. So I'm going to edit inside the same step and I'm going to reference the amount. In order to do so, I'm going to open a square bracket and then type amount and then click on OK. Now you have a list. If you check any list, you'll see the entire list or the entire column of amounts because I need to calculate the running total in the first row I need to reference only the first item of this list in the second row I need to reference first and second and then in the third row first second and third and so on and so forth in order to do so I'm going to edit once more and inside the formula section I'm going to take one more line I'm going to use list.firstn Open the bracket. The first requirement is list. Here is the list, which is basically the amount column and then comma count or condition. I'm going to provide the index, close the bracket and click on OK. Here you go. You have the list in the first line. The list contains only the first item. You can see here if you check the second line, you will see that the list containing two items, the first and second. You can see it here and you can check it is exactly what we have here in the first and the second rows and so on and so forth. Now I can just add the sum function. So I'm going to edit one last time. I'm going to add another line and I'm going to use list dot sum. Open the bracket and close it at the end and click on OK. And here you go, you have your running total. I can just add inside the table.add column, I can just add the data type, comma, and integer 64 dot type. And then the check mark and all is set. Home, close and load, close and load two. Let me put it in the existing worksheet in column E and click on OK and all good. We have no issue so far. However, if we added more lines to the original table, meaning that if we have more than 5,000 line, 10,000 line, this process will be very slow. And this is exactly what we're going to check in the next section. In a separate worksheet, I have additional data. I already added this data into our original table. If you check the count of rows now, it is around 8,200 lines of data. Now I need to refresh my query. However, I'm going to calculate how long this will take. So I already set up a stopwatch as you can see here. 
so I'm going to right click and refresh and then hit the start button for the stopwatch and let's see how long this will take you can notice that the rows are loading right here so let me wait until it finish one minute 51 seconds i think this is too long what if we need to speed up this process or this loading time i think here table.buffer will come to the picture and this is exactly what we're going to see in the final section of this video now let's try what will happen if we add the table.buffer so i'm going to edit my query and I'm going to add the table.buffer just before the last step. You can see here I have the added column step. This is basically calculating the running total. Let me just rename this. I'm going to call it running total. And just before this, I'm going to add the table.buffer. So I'm going to select the added index and then fx in order to add a new step. Insert. Yes, no problem. It will reference the previous step. I can just here add table buffer and then open a bracket the only requirement is a table which is basically coming from the previous step so i'm going to close the bracket at the end and hit the check mark again i'm going to rename this let me call it table buffer and let's see what will happen if we load let me just bring our stopwatch here and close and load and let's start the stopwatch and see what will happen rows are loading now i think it is much faster let's see at the end how long it will take 37 seconds this is less than half the time it took without the table with buffer if you remember it took like 1 minute 51 seconds so it saved like 1 minute and a quarter of a minute meaning that it is much more efficient using table with buffer in such case I believe that was super useful we managed to use table buffer in order to shorten the load time from 1.51 or 1 minute 51 seconds to only 37 seconds. I think it is very useful in this case. If you like the video, please like it, subscribe, share it and also leave me a comment and we'll catch you in the next video and bye.